evening traders, this is Brian with TraderShark.com. I'd like to start off this video and just show you a little bit about some of the shark bands that we have. We do have, we have red bands, blue bands, green bands. Try to keep it as simple as possible. We do have other trend lines on the charts, but in general, I'd just like you to see how, how the shark bands actually pose as resistance levels and support levels, and that's generally uh, the same throughout the whole day. So let's go ahead and look, starting here at about 9.30. Again, these shark bands are made at 4.30 the previous day. And then coming open at 9.30 this morning, our bands are already set. So we have resistance, support. Resistance, went a little bit deep into that. You'll notice the thicker the bands are, the more um, numbers are prevalent at that point. Here we had support. Even though it broke through it, when you get two shark bands that are so close together, there's some more support, more support, before we found a bounce to the upside and resistance. Good evening, traders. This is Brian with TraderShark.com an educational website to learn how to trade the E-mini S&P futures. The following are examples of trade setups that occur on a consistent basis. These trade setups are described in detail and in the trading manual and also in the live daily shark den. Today we are showing nine trade setups for a potential profit of 29 ES ticks. The market opened up this morning at 1232.5 and we generally don't trade from 930 until 945 Eastern Standard Time unless we have a trade setup in the direction of the gap fill. We gapped open by over eight and a half points. We had an opportunity to get short. Target one and target two were hit for a total of 11 ticks. Had a retracement back to our moving average. We also had news coming out at, at 12.30. We have the FOMC announcement. So we are expecting a lot of sideways chop. And then at 2.15 Eastern Standard Time, Ben Bernanke is going to be speaking. So at that time, we really don't want to be in any major trades. And that, but I'm still going to go ahead and go through the valid setups. We had an opportunity to get short. Target one was hit, get stopped out for minus two ticks. We did not necessarily take all these trades. I just want you to see if you're reviewing these at the end of the day, how they match up with your actual trade plan. Here we had an opportunity to get long and it hit the same price action twice, no fill. Then just before we going into our no trade zone, we had an opportunity to get long, target one was hit and got stepped out for minus two ticks. So again, you're seeing the chop already developing in the morning. From 11.30 until 1.15 Eastern Standard Time is a period of higher volatility, lower volume, and we generally do not tar start any new trades during that time frame. In this case, the Fed announced economy is growing slower than expected, and that it's gonna take quite a while for the, for the recovery. I guess the market didn't like that too much, sold off. We then filled the full gap for the morning, 1224, through overhead resistance, found a nice clean setup, target one, target two, hit for a total of seven ticks. Then we found the hourly range low to be our major su support level, see how price action kind of wrapped around it. Opportunity to get short, target one was hit, got stopped out for minus two ticks. Then tried to get long, target one was hit, stopped out for minus two ticks. An opportunity to get long, target one tar and target two were hit for a total of nine ticks. And then we had a little better run here, target one and target two for a total of 12 ticks. Working our way into the close of the day, an opportunity to get short, target one was hit, got stopped out for minus two ticks. Another opportunity to get short, target one was hit, stopped out for minus two ticks. Again, this is all expected on a choppy FOMC trading day. To learn more about these and more advanced trade setups or to get a copy of the TraderShark trading manual, please visit TraderShark.com. Thank you and I'll see you in the Shark Den in the morning.